Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Music Theory with Gim. In this installment, we'll be checking into how Final Fantasy II's revivification implements the chromatic median. This piece of music uses only two chords, and those chords are D major 9 and B9. So really this entire piece is built on a chromatic median relationship. If we view D major as the key center, then we can see that D major would be our one chord. But our diatonic six chord should be B minor, right? Well, that isn't the case here. Instead, the triad is a B major, meaning we have a chromatic median built on the sixth scale degree. We can check this by seeing that the two chords have a relationship of a minor third descending, they are both major triads, and they share F sharp as a single common tone. Unlike our tutorial video, however, these chords are not only triads, but instead have been given multiple extensions, those being the 7th and the 9th. D major is still fully diatonic in that it contains a major 7th and major 9th. These are both naturally occurring in the key of D major, and altogether this gives us the D major 9 chord. And aside from the D sharp occurring within the B chord, the extensions are also diatonic. Normally we would have a B minor 9, but instead we have a B9. Because of the chromatic median, we go from having a diatonic progression to now having a chromatic progression. But this composition isn't simply two static chords moving back and forth. Instead, we hear an ostinato on top of the root motion. And what is interesting about this ostinato is that we can view it as an F sharp minor 7 over D, followed by an F sharp minor 6 over B. The F sharp minor chords are simply being arpeggiated from the top down, which means the first notes we hear on each chord are the changing pitches. Those being E to D sharp at the top of the ostinato, and D to B being in the bass motion at the bottom. Following this, however, we only hear common tones, those being F sharp, A, and C sharp. And because we have gone from having one common tone in a chromatic median to now having three common tones because of extensions, I get this sense of floating back and forth between the two chords. So with that in mind, let's check out what it would have sounded like had it been all diatonic, and then we're going to listen to it with the chromatic alteration. I have never actually played Final Fantasy II, so I don't know how this has been implemented, but considering this piece is named after Restoration to Life, I can't imagine it being a dark and sinister setting. So I feel like this use of the chromatic median really translates well to what this theme was intended for. But hey, I could be totally wrong. This could have been a theme for a villain to explain his plot to ruin the world or something. I'm not really sure. So if you've played this game and you know, let me know where it's been implemented, because I'm really curious. But anyways, this is all I have to say about the piece in terms of music theory. So to recap, we have two chords that are chromatic medians to one another, and thanks to extensions, we have more than one common tone, which smoothens the transition between the two. Additionally, we've also been given an ostinato that we can view as an arpeggiation of F sharp minor 7 followed by F sharp minor 6, starting from the top going down. And this first lets us hear the notes that are changing followed by the notes that are common. So that's all I have for now with this piece. But if you happen to have any questions, feel free to drop a comment below. Otherwise, like the video, subscribe to the channel, share it with all your friends or enemies or whatever. And if you want to become a supporter of the channel, then jump on over to Patreon and lend a hand. But until next time, this has been another episode of Music Theory with Gim. Music Theory with Gim